what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel and if you're new around here welcome to the Roman Army I hope you guys have been having a wonderful week today's video we're gonna be exploring this amazing underground abandoned location it's very famous here in Belgium specifically in the city of Liège um, it's been locked down for so many years not a lot of people have been ever been able to enter this place there's two entrances and both of them have been closed down for a very long time Moas has actually been there before it's a great place guys you're gonna love it yeah and he's gonna be my guide for today because he knows all about it and we're gonna be driving past it really quick for one second because the location of this entrance is a really sketchy one we gotta walk down there there's actually a ramp that leads down underground yeah we, we saw the door was open and who knows until that door will be open it'll probably be closed very very soon yeah we're gonna have to ninja it with our super magic powers that no one knows about that's how we get into these places and we're getting into this one tonight Yay! so don't forget to smash that thumbs up button but okay let's get going with the adventure we'll see you guys inside and this place is a very infamous tunnel built here in belgium that I cannot wait to take you guys around. You may be wondering why this bus is here. Well, there's a whole story behind it. And as we go along for the exploration, I'll tell you guys all about it. I give this place a name though, and this is called the Ghost Bus Tunnel because we're gonna be seeing more buses and vehicles just like this, hundreds of them within this very underground tunnel system. And it's pretty big, it stretches for miles, but come on. I'm excited, let's go. So the history about this tunnel is that it was one of Belgium's worst mistakes ever. It's the worst investment you can possibly think of. Basically, they tried building an underground public system, but I guess their expectations were too high. They didn't have enough funding for it, and they just canceled the project altogether. And then they thought like, okay, what are we gonna do now with all these empty spaces underground? Hey. We'll just put all the buses here. That's why this underground tunnel is just a graveyard for these buses. We're gonna take a look at one of them. Crazy, yeah, I can see all the windows smashed up. I bet a lot of people have been down here. I don't know if you uh, guys noticed also in America about the stop buttons. Yes. If you're at a certain stop, you can press them. Oh, we and have And the bus will stop. Yeah. And over here, we can get a good look. Check out the driver's seat. This place is really interesting because of its history and like who just leaves buses underground? You're gonna see that there are maybe even 100 buses in this tunnel. If you look at the buses, they actually still have like the plate on where they were gonna be traveling to. And they had the bus number as well. <laughs> That's a pretty creepy graffiti. completely chopped it up where did the other parts go I really have no clue oh. <laughs> I wonder how like they did this coming for the ride oh, I made <laughs> it right in time bro <laughs> nice where, where, where do you want to be stopped uh, should we stop at the second stop yeah yeah okay all right, we're pressing we'll the right now. <laughs> All right, we've got to get out. <laughs> yeah, this is sick, though. I'm not sure what this could have been, but they look like some sort of tracks, perhaps, that could have been used. Yeah? I don't know how they did it, but the position of some trams and buses has changed, like... There's actually, there is another tram, and it was not there when it was there half a year ago. Wow. It's a ticket booth. Let's see if there's any details on it. Yeah, look, you can even see the, the time schedule. What? I never seen a tram that looked like this. No, it's like we're inside a house at the moment. Yeah. And I think these are like hand, hand painted too. Yeah, holy crap, these are hand painted. You think so? And look at this, it's all around here too. Man, that's pretty neat.
Yeah, it feels like very homey. Maybe even a homeless person. Uh, oh gosh. Maybe. We can encounter one. Um, damn, what's over here? There's some more tools here. I'm not sure what all these junks are for. They look pretty fresh though, I'm not gonna lie. So with this tunnel, I guess it loops, it zigzags like a Z motion. So we just came around that corner and now we're making it our way down here. Here's our, here are all the stops. This was going to be a sign where all the buses would be stopping at. Yeah, even the metro. Yeah. But they never finished it. Take a look at this over here. These are the signs that were going to be used for the train tunnel system. It was for the subway. They have each and every stop. And it stretches very long. Kind of sucks. Like, it would have been nice if this was completed. And over here. It's actually uh, a secret passageway. This wasn't meant for the subway. This was like, um, yeah, how do you call it? Like, working area, like behind the trails. Right. And everything. I always see something on the side whenever I take the subway. Mm -hmm. I guess this is how it kind of looks like. Yeah, you always have these doors. Yeah. You never know what they actually look like. Mm hmm. Echo. We're already here, but we missed a very cool uh, tram. We just skipped these trams right here. Probably uh, one of the oldest trams in the whole tunnel. Yeah, this looks so old. If you heard that, it's because we're like underneath like a highway right now. This one is pretty graffitied up. This is also a really old tram. All the seats are still left in this tram. Literally a ghost train. Yeah, this is a really nice one. Because also with the old advertisements. Yeah, look at that. You can see some old stuff right here. It's like a little advertisement. It looks like it's in perfect condition. Mm -hmm. Lately, but I thought you had to see this place before leaving Belgium. Dude, definitely. It's probably one of the most iconic places there are. I think this is another driver's seat. But look at the chair and how it's set up. It looks like a giant chair stick shift. That's strange that there's candles there. But it must have been set up for a photo. Excuse me, do you know how late bus 14 uh, will be here? Yes, you've been drinking, huh? You've been, oh. you've been laying in the club. Man, I need to go home. Can uh. you maybe bring me to my home? <laughs> bring you to your home? Yeah. I don't know, man. You can't trust strangers. Oh, screw you. Screw you. <laughs> the best is yet to happen. That was just the beginning, guys. As we're walking down this tunnel, you're going to see a lot more than that. So we're now entering the once gated side of the tunnel. This is where the Belgian bus company TEC stored their buses and those are pretty modern. We're stepping in hundreds of shards of glass. Oh, it's very sparkly. Yeah, right now we're just seeing a a bunch of trash. This one's not that interesting. This one actually is. There's a cool one. Can you get up there? Flying, but it's not possible. All right, this is the first TEC bus we're seeing, and if you're around Belgium or from there, you'll see this a lot on the road. All the seats are still here in perfect condition. 
It even says no food in the bus. Yeah, it says bus reserve right here. I think that's for you, Mo. We reserved a, a seat for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, finally, so it can go home. You can go home. Oh, man. I was just kidding all along. Oh, luckily. Yeah, just, just hop on. <laughs> so, yeah, the ghost driver will take you home. Look at the driver's seat. Yeah, the, the entire windows are just smashed up, including the drivers. Bro, these windows were still inside of it when we were here half a year ago. Yeah. I don't understand how every window got smashed. Oh, it must have been. They must have taken like a sledgehammer. Yeah, but. Or a, a metal baseball bat. But already friendless from the edge. Yeah. Well, here's the driver's seat. You can see there's more buttons to press, it looks way more modern. Damn, there's some more ticket booths. And never seen this one. Not a bus. It's called Hip Hype. Yeah, they don't, they don't drive anymore nowadays. This one looks pretty cool too. There's a lot of buttons. And take a look at this. There's a sign. This means please show your bus ticket. I don't know why it's here, but it also took my attention. This must have been sands from just the previous construction. I think they came from these. Yeah, maybe. Hundreds of bottles. They must have been filled with sand. Looks like we're coming to an intersection. Have some more stops. Let's uh, let's check out each and every single one. So this begins or ends at 49. Saranj. Saranj. Do you notice any of these? Leave a comment down below. Here we are, the edge. <laughs> and then it goes. Wait, the numbers just got different. But yeah, begins in the edge. I know what's this. Look on the left. Yeah. So DK. <laughs> Why does it jump to 50 to 125? Anyway, continuing on. Belgian logic. And ends here. That looks ancient, man. What? It looks like... Dude, I want to buy it and like make it into like a smoothie. Like a cafe or a bar. <laughs> Wow. Surprised there's no homeless people. No. I wonder where each one leads. Yeah, there's buses on each corner. There's a little, oh, there's a bar. driver's seat looks pretty cool too it's weird it looks like it has a, a passenger seat yeah there's I think those are cup holders I'm starting here cars driving past us from above what they even had their own sink yeah this this had to be probably more expensive than your average bus ride Space in the back looks really big too. Kind of strange, they're very low to the ground. These one have the blue seats. What does that mean? Is there a meaning for blue seats? Oh, that's pretty small. Not scrapped up or anything. Dab. <laughs> this was uh, I <laughs> Woo, look at that, I dropped my light, but good thing I got Loom Cube. Not sponsored by the way. I just love these lights. We'll just fix up a bus here. We'll, we will just we'll, live in it. Yeah, we'll get we'll get all the tools, we we'll come down here. Fix up the engine, fix up the wheels, everything, and drive it out. Okay, what's this? A security car? It's the service van for the bus company. 
Oh. Damn. All right, everyone. So we just made it to the best part of this tunnel. As we're walking through here, we're gonna see so many buses from TEC. Literally, I don't know how many, but there's gonna be a lot. They're all gonna look the same, so I'm not gonna go to each one one by one, you know what I mean? You'll, you'll be seeing the same things. Still left abandoned, it's insane. So what we're gonna do is just gonna, we're gonna walk all the way down and make a little time lapse to show you guys how big this is. Let's go. We weren't joking guys, this is a ton of buses. Yo, yeah we just made it towards the very end. This is the last rail they completed. They didn't move forward from here. Look, they even have the walls kind of halfway through too. Yeah, you can see all the wires here. Wow. Let's take a closer look. Look at that. I can't believe they never got done finishing this place. They completely just stopped the project. It was the worst mistake ever because that was a lot of money that they, they put into it, right? There's light. Where's that reflection? Okay, and that's it. That's... <laughs> That's literally it. That's all they had. They, they, yeah, they screwed up big time. We walked legit five minutes down and they just decided like, hey, let's stop. This is more than we expected. And boom. <laughs> we just have to touch the wall and mission accomplished. Yay. Oh. We did it, bro. We did it. Oh yeah. Whew. Now it's time to walk back. Yeah, I'm. I'm so tired, guys. It's been a long day exploring. Just this entire day, we managed to hit three amazing spots. If you have not seen the previous videos, I highly recommend you go check them out. We just been doing the best of the best here in Belgium, France, and the Netherlands that you guys have to see. I'm sure you will enjoy it as much as you enjoyed this video. Yeah, we have a quite the long walk to get back to the entrance. Man, let's just, let's not even walk back. Let's just Roll. let's get on top of this and just start running. You know what I mean, like hamsters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is moving back. It's moving ah! back. Very <laughs> sketchy. So this is another entrance to the place. This used to be the old entrance. So people were actually so crazy. They went to there and they had to go down beneath here but it is a long fall as you can see yeah so they use a the rope yeah now they just only use this yeah we actually got really lucky because the entrance that we came out from was the easiest but throughout the years it was completely locked so yeah we got really lucky this past week it's only been open but who knows when they're gonna close it back up but if, it, if it was closed we would have taken this way got some ropes and just roped ourselves down mm -hmm. 